What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andri and today I'm gonna be doing an update uh, on Neo Stock. And on today's uh, video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what news uh, we have to wait in order to see its upcoming major movement. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis, and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at, uh, on February 15th, and at this very point, I told you that we have to see the confirmation of new uptrend, and this confirmation should be the breakout above this previous swing high. And when and if this asset breaks this previous uh, swing high at uh, roughly $6.95, we will confirm that the bottom for NEO, at least uh, medium term bottom, was at this point at $5.35 mark. And guys, let me remind you that this uh, point $5.35 is nothing else uh, but the range of support and range of resistance from uh, 2018 and 2020. As you can see, we had this range uh, uh, on uh, October of 2018 as the range of support. And here we had this range in January of 2020 as the range of resistance. And potentially, this range might also hold, and if it happens, uh, we have to see some kind of reaction to the upside that, uh, that potentially should break uh, these two swing highs. But so far, it is too early to make this assumption, and guys, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills, and uh, for the first 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset uh, that you might find. On top of that, guys, for now, it is not so many people inside the Discord group. That is why my attention for 100% will be dedicated to you and you will be able to ask me anything that you want. So it is quite fair deal, in my opinion. And uh, let's uh, continue with the fundamental news. I have to admit that uh, right after the holiday season in China, we have several news and uh, a couple of them are 100% marketing news. Uh, it is a pure PR for this company. One of them is this one, Neo testing the use of humanoid robots on factory production line. And uh, I have to admit that uh, uh, for now, there is no such a technology which allows um, auto manufacturer to uh, produce uh, the vehicles using this uh, type of uh, humanoids. And uh, definitely this is a pure advertisement of uh, their capabilities and it is nothing else uh, but uh, the show. On top of that, let me show you another quite similar news. Here you can see the video of uh, Neo E9 and uh, it has uh, this uh, quite weird capability, quite weird feature. They can uh, shake its body in order to uh, thick uh, the snow covering. And guys, I lived uh, in Siberia for more than 40 years. And I know that uh, this uh, feature is useless if you have a lot of snow on your vehicle and if you have uh, uh, extremely low temperatures. That is why it is another uh, pure marketing step in order to promote their vehicles. But also we have very important news for NIO. First of all, let me show you uh, this uh, data. It is uh, China EV insurance registrations uh, uh, in the week of February the 5th, uh, February 18. And NIO registered uh, 1500 vehicles. It is not the best result, but if you take a look right here, uh, we have, uh, let me show you, Yes, so right here we have uh, the range of uh, their deliveries uh, on a quite decent level compared to previous levels. But you have to keep in mind that for now this point is nothing else uh, but two weeks, week six and week seven. And previously on uh, 2023 uh, they uh, use uh, week five as their holiday season and that is why this number is lower. That is why it is quite uh, difficult to assume on which level they had uh, the week 6 and week 7 separately. But uh, I don't think that it might uh, be very important because all of the Chinese uh, auto manufacturers have the same, uh, pretty much the same uh, results. And let me show you this news. This news is the most important one. Neo to report Q4 earnings on March the 5th. 
And uh, as you can see, NIO delivered uh, more than 50,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter, exceeding the upper end of its uh, previous guidance range of 47 to 49,000 vehicles. And yes, it is a very good achievement, but on the other hand, guys, we have to be very cautious with their forecast. And we know that uh, a lot of auto manufacturers on their latest earnings reports and earning calls said that uh, the upcoming uh, year, the year of 2024 and 2025, might be very difficult for them uh, in uh, terms of uh, the sales, because the demand uh, for electric vehicles is slowing down and in these conditions uh, it is uh, quite difficult to grow their sales and guys uh, you have to keep in mind uh, that uh, the forecast is on the first place uh, which will define uh, the upcoming trend for new and the second one is its gross margin because you know let me show you this information uh, that uh, gross margin of uh, NIO in third quarter of 2023 was 8%, compared uh, with 13.3% in the third quarter of 2022 and only 1% in the, in the second quarter of 2023. And guys, let me remind you that Tesla's, for example, Tesla's uh, gross margin is uh, roughly 17%, if I remember it correct. And that is why NIO might have uh, some problems uh, with their uh, profitability if they not exceed the level of 10% of gross margin. And uh, all these facts uh, definitely leads us to the conclusion that we have to passionately wait. And let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. We have to wait till March, uh, uh, what date uh, was, uh, uh, March the 5th. And uh, Right after that, uh, definitely, we will know more about its upcoming uh, uh, trend. And uh, so far, I have to say that uh, we still have two crucial points. Uh, this sideways movement uh, shows nothing from the technical standpoint. And we have to see the breakout above uh, the previous swing high or below the previous uh, swing low in order to confirm uh, at least short-term trend. And uh, definitely this breakout uh, might happen uh, within next uh, week or so, right around their earnings report. And then we will have more information in regards to its upcoming movements. And I will do another update in order to show you its uh, results and its uh, potential trend. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.